Welcome to the April Tech School. I'm here, of course, with Chef Cassie Byers from Home Wine Kitchen. And we are in the Collier and Thompson Demonstration Kitchen. And this month, we're going to show you a very classic kind of brunch dish. Sure. Um, obviously, Easter is in April, and it's a time when a lot of people gather around for brunches. But really, cured salmon is something that you can enjoy any time of year. And um, you're going to be really surprised how easy this is to make at home. Um, all we're doing is applying salt to fish. That is the base of this entire technique. The salt is going to pull all the moisture out and, it's, and essentially dry the fish. You're like almost pickling it. Yeah, it's a form of pickling. Um, we add brown sugar to this so that you get a little bit of sweetness as well. Um, if you did just salt, it would get very harsh, kind of acidic, um, tannic, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so the brown sugar definitely mellows that out. Um, and it adds a great color and it adds a great flavor. Um, we're doing very, very simple today. We have our side of salmon here. Mm -hmm. You can do really any size you want. Um, I just figure, go big or go home, let's do the whole thing. Right. Um, and we've got a really simple mixture of kosher salt and light brown sugar. Okay. So we're gonna start with putting a layer of this on the bottom. So you really just kind of squish all that down. Just squish all that down. It just needs a bed to lie on. All right, so I'm gonna put a light layer of brown sugar down, and then we're gonna put our citrus. Real quick, I'm gonna add some peppercorns. And we're going to incorporate some citrus juice. Whatever tinkering you do with the recipe, make mm -hmm. sure that you incorporate some sort of liquid to get the process going. Okay. Um, citrus is great, but you could also use white wine. If you want to do something that was really fennelly, you could use like a Pernod or an absinthe. You just need so some alcohol amount. doesn't speed up or change the curing process. Alcohol does speed it up a little bit, but you can see we're not using a whole lot. Okay. You just need a little bit to get it going. So I also noticed that you're not being entirely precise. But no, this isn't a precise recipe. The recipe that I give you is, is, is merely a guideline. Press down firmly, you know, really get that salt and sugar mixture adhered to the fish. And we're gonna put a sheet pan on top. Okay. All right, we're gonna press again. All right, and then we're gonna put something heavy. I've got two of my heaviest pots next to me. If you've got some canned goods, whatever it is you have, as long as you've got something heavy to weight it down, it's gonna push all that moisture out and really help the salt along. A brick will do great. Okay, because I'm thinking that this is really tall for a home refrigerator. Right. So to keep it something you can keep in your home fridge, something kind of low like a brick might work. I've used a dictionary. Okay. <laughs> it's an intelligent fish, yes. very well read. Whatever's heavy. Okay. <laughs> all right, so it's been Two days. Two days have gone by. No longer than 72 hours. That's right. We don't want to overcure it. Um, and we're going to reveal our salt cured salmon. And it's a reveal. Have. Yes. See. <laughs> All right. And there we are. Now you'll see there's a lot of liquid mm -hmm. that's come out, and that's exactly what this whole process is about, is getting all of the moisture out of the fish, that's drying it, that's curing it, um, and what you're left with is going to be, you know, your typical grab box. Cool. So we're going to take them over to the sink and rinse them up and see what we have. All right. So you rinsed this off, and I have to say, when you picked it up, the texture of it, you could tell that it was much more firm. Yeah, you know, it's got less give to it. You can see the skin, how it kind of wrinkles up when you try to move it. It's, it's, it's dried out. That's what we were looking for, is the salt took all the moisture out. And uh, you can see like the skin just so easily peels right off. Now, is there a technique to slicing it properly? You want to cut them on an angle, and just as thin as possible. So you need a pretty sharp knife. So I'm going to give this a try. I mean, you eat smoked salmon, or I eat smoked salmon, really often. The idea that you can make this so easily at home, honestly, is kind of mind-boggling because it's so ex it's a very expensive product, right? And the recipe that we've provided online in the in the column is very very simple, and I definitely encourage you to incorporate other dry herbs and spices and seasonings into it to get what you want. That tastes so fresh. It has a it has a definite saltiness to it, mm -hmm. and you can taste a little bit of like a, a citrus kind of lemony. Um, flavor to it, but that fresh kind of salmon flavor comes right through. It's fantastic, and the texture is perfect. Excellent. I'm totally making this at home. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.